G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'm just having a bit of a play around with the H160 and I thought I'd just uh, see what size uh, tooling it can put carbide tips on. And really, you're a bit limited to micro lathe size. So what we've got is uh, probably about the maximum. So I'll show you some footage and you can see how it turns out. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll measure it at the end. Here she is, the mighty little shoe line, and here's a bit of tooling I made up earlier, oh, way back. Once again, it's just the same size stock. And here's some regular high-speed steel next to it. And you can see, you know, you're in the, the same ballpark as you would normally use. And uh, ASAB Sweden, good stuff. So, this is the one we just knocked up, and I'll stick a bit of steel in there and uh, see how she goes. Here's a closer look at what we've got to play with, so try it out, see how she goes, eh? Fire up the mighty shell on the beast. First we'll check the saddle line and uh, make sure everything's wonky dory that's spot on, so we know that our height's perfect. These are easy to make up out of old printer rails, so you know, just make up a centre to go in there and you can um, check at either end. You can use your live or dead centre. So we'll just use a bit of stainless steel junk for a test piece. <laughs> It's all right, no problem. You'd use it as a boring bar, but well, it's really meant to be a boring bar. 
I'll come in on a uh, reverse feed and see if we can get a really good finish on it. You can see the difference straight away by bringing it away from the chuck. We've got a more gradual lead-in angle and it gives it a nice uh, nice finish. Really good. In comparison, if we go the other way, it uh, it won't be as nice. Yeah, a little tool works good. I'll get a bit of tubing and we'll try it out as a boring bar. We'll try it on a bit of scrap and see what happens. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good finish to me. Not bad for a bit of junk. That's quite hard steel, that. Eh? Yeah, it did okay, didn't it? So there you go, with 6mm square metal shank, but it handled it quite okay. So there you have it, if you've got a micro lathe or, or a mini, um, you can make up your own carbide tooling out of old inserts and uh, just get some 6mm uh, shaft, shank, and uh, away you go. Turned out well. Okay, hope you got something out of that. And uh, yeah, these little jiggers are uh, great little lathes. See you next time. Cheers.